All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode with your favorite couple, Jules. Gels. The couple that gels. So, <laughs> this smooth. week. Smooth. I am. I am. <laughs> So this week we've had a really busy week, but we still wanted to make sure we put out some material for you guys. So um, um, as you know, we have our cards and we do not know what the questions are. We have not looked through them. There's about 300 questions and we're gonna do um, two to three a week, but today we're just gonna do two. Two. Okay? We're sticking to two. Sticking to two. So you wanna pull the first one, babe? And then you ask me. Oh, these are the hardest cards in the world. They, they are hard to come out. They are. All they right, are. All right. What is the accomplishment you are most proud of? Okay. Professionally or personally? Oh, that oh. is not what this card is. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, since we're talking about relationships, I'll talk about our relationship. Well, the fact that we've been together for so long. Um, what is so long? <laughs> you want me to math? <laughs> we have been together for so long. And so we long have, is... Oh, my gosh. I'm getting older. Too, too much math. Too much math. Oh, okay. Um, how long have you been married? Since uh, July uh, 07. Okay, so how long have you been married? Is it? 17, 17 years. Okay, so we've been married 18. for 17 years. So it's getting so long, I can't even count. I, when we get to 20, I'll say 20 years. So anyway, it's my question. Oh, my bad. All right, so one, one of my greatest accomplishes, accomplishments, I want to say, is just the strength of our marriage. In all honesty, I think our marriage is really, really strong. I mean, I think, um, you know, no marriage is 100% perfect. So I'll say that we are perfectly imperfect. Right. That's what I'll say, but I, I really feel like um, we blend well. We communicate well. Well, I communicate well, um, and then I get you to communicate well. <laughs> I sit you down and talk to you and say, hey, you need to talk to me. Um, but I, I, I mean, I, I just think that's so rare, like the way we speak, we talk morning, noon, night, you know, if you don't hear from me at my lunch break, you know I'm having a busy day because that's not common, right? right? Like I always call you on my lunch, even if we speak just for five minutes, because I don't take a lunch. I usually eat at my desk anyway, but I just call right. you for two minutes to talk. Back in the days, I used to call you and we used to take lunch together oh, yeah. in two different locations. You were at lunch, I was at lunch, and we were talking, but now with my new schedule, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. But I mean, I think it's it, when I talk about our marriage and when I say things to people, um, like for instance, when I told them how when I used to travel more before, and I was a corporate nurse, right? I was a right. um, regional director of clinical operations mm -hmm. and I was traveling a lot. And the fact that when I would get to a hotel room, right? we would, remember back in the days it was Skype. Skype so we yeah. would have Skype guys and we would use our laptops to communicate. So I would have my laptop open and he would have his laptop at home. And we would talk like that throughout the entire evening. Like once I, I did my work and I right. came home to the, I came to the hotel and he was at home. We immediately, we were talking on the phone, so I got to the door, then I get in, we set the laptop up, and then we Skype all night to the point that um, we felt, we slept like that. Yeah, so, was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> throughout the night, if you like, wake up, I'd look and I'd see her sleeping and vice versa. Yeah. Like, we slept with the Skype on so we could see each other. Yeah. And we didn't even think anything of it. Yeah. Like when I was talking to somebody the other day and I said it, they were like, what? Yeah. They were like, I've never loved anyone to do that. <laughs> I, I said it wasn't it wasn't a trust it wasn't no we were just talking and we just it, fell asleep like that and it for, was for me it was a, it was, it was a, I wanted to be as close as I could be to you and it was a safety thing yeah. I wanted, uh, in the middle of the night I didn't want to wake up and wonder if you were okay I could look and see she's there she's asleep she's fine let me ask and, you yeah, yeah. you were like three hours away sometimes in different states what were you going to do <laughs> if you Look at the computer screen. I'm a, no, 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 seriously, don't play. I'm a bad dude. You don't know. I, I'm a bad dude. I can make what are you going to do if you I can make it. it? Yeah. <laughs> so what I can make gonna, it happen. What are you going to do? So, but anyway, I think, again, that just goes to show that speaks to the strength of our marriage, to our foundation, how solid it is that we would do something like that without even thinking. And that's just one of the things that we do without even thinking about it. Right. You know, sometimes um, 
we're on the phone talking and we're so used to talking to each other, especially, um, again, I have to travel at times that I'm going a long distance and we're on the phone. And then sometimes we kind of run out of things to say. Just and sit then there. we literally sit there. Listen and to each other breathe. Listen to each other breathe and forget the other person is on the phone. Oh, my God. Like I, <laughs> I have definitely... Uh, like if there are times like she'll put me on hold and like she'll go on and she'll be on a conversation and it might have to do at work so she can be on a conversation on the phone for an hour right and I just go about my job and I'm start working and then out of nowhere she's like hello and I'm like I oh it's jarring because I forgot I forgot she was on I forgot I was on hold I forgot everything but that link is always it's always uh, it's it's never it's never not there. It's always there. Okay. So, Thank yeah. you. All right, so that's mine. What is yours? Now, say, say, let me get the question. What's the accomplishment you are most proud of? Uh, I don't want to regurgitate. Regurgitate, but, regurgitate. <laughs> but I think it's our uncompromising communication. Like, we don't not communicate. It's kind of funny because it's kind of the same thing. But we all our communication shows we won't let it break down. No. No. There's no breakdown in communication. We communicate uh nonstop. We communicate all the time. We are constant link to each other. Connected. It, yeah, it doesn't break. It it stays connected. Um and we find new ways to make sure if something's an obstacle, okay, we're going to do this this way, but still, we're going to make sure we have that communication. And I also see it when we are, even with our children, you know what I mean? Like, they, one thing our children will tell you is there is no way we are not linked at all times and in communication. That ask her and then ask me, that stuff does not <laughs> work. You know what I mean? Because we're constantly in communication um, no matter what. And uh, under all circumstances, we communicate and we don't we don't let that fall, fall through the cracks. And I think that's the number one thing in a relationship uh, that will demise you mm -hmm. quicker than anything is that failure to have that constant, listen to me, constant bond of communication if you are with somebody and you do not want to have a constant bond of communication then i think you better let it go <laughs> Stop. it's another love tko oh no. you gotta let it go well when he talks about bond I, our word is connection, connection uh, we yeah. talk about being connected with everything Connected mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, shut up, <laughs> connected. And, and that's just the key because when you're connected, you are on the same page. When you are connected, you know and understand what the other person feels. So when we talk about things, I feel like we always end up going back to being connected. So for all of you, if I'm going to give you relationship advice, it is to make sure that you and your partner can sit and communicate with one another and remain connected. If you are conversating and you are not connected, it's not going to, I don't wanna say it's not going to work, but you are going to have problems or you're going to struggle because the other person is not going to understand what you are saying. And through that connected, that connection is communication. So you have to communicate to stay connected. You right. like that? Right, oh yeah, yeah. I need another if, C. if you're somebody who's like, oh my God, I couldn't stay on the phone or, be that, then that's not somebody you want to be with to that degree. If the break, the, if, if you like, oh God, I got to get away from that person, then, then it's, then you, you, that's not the person for you. Understand that. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people think that, uh, I mean, oh, may, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe, not, maybe I, I don't want to say it's not the person for them because yeah. you don't care about saying Some people, that. I Think guess, about yeah. if that's the person for you and right. what can you do to be more connected so that you yeah. will want to speak to them more. Right. What can you do to change that? Because like, you know, when they say like Kelly's name or anything, I never am like, oh, I don't want to talk to him or oh, I don't want anything to be with him. I I'm always 
wanting to talk to him to right. share my experiences. If I've had a great day, I want to tell him. If I had a bad day, I want to tell him. If I had an right. okay day, I want to tell him. Like that's literally one of the first things we do when we get out of work. How was your day? I right. ask him and he asked me. And you know, we talk about it even sometimes briefly, just, you know, I don't it's not even anything I feel like getting into today or if it right. is because you want to share that experience um with, with the other person, but it's all remaining connected. So yeah. That's my little bit of advice. I'm going to put yeah. that yeah. card away now. Now it's my turn. Oh. My turn, my turn, my turn. Oh, I don't like that one. Uh. I don't like that one either. Uh. Okay. No, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. And this topic is, oh, individual. Ooh. Oh, I have two cards. Oh. I'm going to put it back. I didn't see the one behind. I just saw the topic. The topic, oh, still individual. Oh, still same question. I didn't see the one behind. Is there anything you regret? Yeah. <laughs> say, it. say it, player. Say it, player. Yeah. Say you it, sure? player. You sure? Yeah. I didn't mean this so much. Yeah, that is a regret. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yahtzee! Yeah. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. 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 I didn't mean this on them. You know what I mean? We, we, this, this should have started in junior high school. That's all. That's, that's my regret. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Take notes. Take notes. <laughs> take notes. All right. No, no. Um, I mean, I think that sounds good, but we honestly, I think in order for us to appreciate each other the way we do, we had to go through what we had to go through. Mm -hmm. We had to go through what we had to go through with other people. We had to have the the heartbreaks, the the the, the failures. Then, because when we met, it was like, look, I had enough. Have you had enough? And I was like, yeah, I had enough. And she was like, good. Do you want to do this this way? And I was like, I want to do this this way. She's like, yeah, me too. And after that, we were locked in. But I just wish, my regret is, I wish that could have happened sooner. I wish we could have got to that sooner. And you know what? Before, we, before I answer my part of the question, I'm just going to elaborate and add to that. When he said that when we met and it was like, did you have enough? Yes. And did I have enough? We actually, when we first met, we discussed the things that we wanted in a relationship. Yeah. We laid them all out. We didn't talk mm -hmm. about all our heartaches from before. At TJR Fridays. You hear that, ladies? You ladies who won't go on dates unless it's a fuck, man, listen. At TJR Fridays, we got this right. And go I ahead. love TJR Fridays. We might need to go there again this <laughs> yeah. Friday because I love me some Fridays. But no, yeah. but seriously, we discussed all the things that we did not want in a relationship. And I think or that we wanted in a relationship. And I really think that that was strongly the foundation for our relationship. Because I think a lot of times you start a relationship with someone and you're wondering what they want. They're wondering what you want. We talked about the faithfulness. You know, I need to, because I, I, I admit, I'm going to tell you right now. I cannot deal with someone who's unfaithful. It's not good for me. It's not good for me. It's not good for my personality. It is not good for me. My, it's not good for my mental well-being. I don't deal with those situations well. So I told him, like, look, look, let me just help you out now. If that's the path that you want to go on and if you want to have multiple females, you go and do that with someone else and you be with someone else and you go ahead and do that. I don't have a problem. I'm not going to hate you. I'm not mad at you, but I'm really not the one for it right. because I knew I couldn't take it. And then I said, and, and mentally, if you care about me, you won't put me through that type of situation. I know for me, and I'm going to tell you guys this, I do not deal well if someone cheats on me. I'm very selfish. That's one. Two, I'm a nurse, so I get into all kind of medical things about that. Yeah, right, you, right, you already know right. how I get. And <laughs> yeah. um, and three, it's just not right now. I, I did say to him, and he can tell you I said this. When we oh, met, don't you say what you said. What? what? Oh, I really, I'm looking forward to this. Please go ahead. No, no, I just said, listen, okay, if, you, if your desire is to date multiple women, 
and this is not a committed relationship, let me know because if you want to date multiple women, then I know where you stand and I can continue dating as well. So I know that this is not that type of relationship. Just let me know because that's the other thing. Women get mad if you lie to them. That is not the way she said it. What she said, I'll never forget this day. She was like, oh, and it was so casual, but such a, a smooth killer blow. She was like, um, hey, baby. I was like, hey, baby, what's going on? Oh, I just wanted to let you know, in case you didn't know, you are the only person I'm seeing. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not seeing anyone else. Uh, Oh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I got it. And that she was really straightforward. That you are the only person I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anybody else. Else was like, if you have them and you got them, you need to get it together, champ, and get rid of them. But I did say you need to let me know. Right. I did. I, yeah, did. I remember that. Okay. I I never forget yeah, that. Yeah, I said so. You need to let me know so that I know where we stand and mm. what I'm getting myself into. That was right. your out. Yeah, yeah, I gave you your yeah. Out. That's what it was. It was that. I gave you your out. Right, right. You said you're the only person, and I was like, well, the, it's mutual. Because, and I, I remember what I said to you. I I said. If a woman knows that they're not the only one and they decide to still date and still get to know you, because this was the beginning, right? So when you meet someone for the first time, you don't know that this is going to be the one. But let's, let's tell them the truth. Okay, so y'all know we got married before we didn't know each other a whole year. Okay, we did not know each I think within two months we were engaged. After that, we was planning a three wedding. Months. Yeah, three months. We're engaged. But we knew we were going to be engaged. And at three months, I got my ring. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It, 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 we expedited the situation. It was very fast. We, we, we knew we were going to get married at one month. Yeah, yeah. That's and we were, we was, I think we were a little intimidated. Like, are we jumping the gun? But when you know, you know. And that that's, that is definitely uh, the way that went. Down. But I do want to go back and say something because I think this is important for men that are that might be watching this um that if you are if you just if you want to date multiple people if you don't want to be in a committed relationship and you meet someone if you are honest with that woman and you tell her that you are not you know and you you don't want to be in a committed relationship and right now you are dating they are they might still date you and they'll be more understanding until you're ready for that committed relationship women get mad when you lie it's the lies they can't take. You know, it's like, okay, I just met this guy. You know, we just started dating. Nothing serious right now. They're okay with that. Most women are okay with that. It's when you tell her, you know, babe, I love you. You're the only one for me. I don't want to be. Oh, with yeah, yeah. Else. If you say it like then that, they yeah. find out that they're not. Right. That is what pisses a sister off. You see, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it. That is what pisses a sister off. <laughs> I, yeah. you know, just tell them the truth right. that's it right. and then you won't have any problems so I'm just giving you that advice if that's what you want to do when you meet someone and you're not sure if that's the one you want to be with tell them that like you know what I just want to get to know you better I want to get to understand you better I want to see where this is going to go and this is not a committed relationship even if you don't even want to use that word so you don't have to be too harsh with it be like I'm just you know trying to get to know you and I'm trying to get to know what, what? you kiss your teeth I'm kissing my teeth because, fellas, let me tell you right now, if she tells you you are the only one and you tell her, oh, I'm just out here you know, with the soil in my royal oats like you are uh, in coming to America, it's a dub. It's never going to be what it could have been. Understand that. When you get that message, you need to know. Champ, either you make her the one or you log off. But they needed to have that conversation from the beginning. So she shouldn't even oh, yeah. think she's the only one. And I, I, still oh, yeah. stand, I still stand firm that if you tell a woman from the beginning that you are not committed only to her and you are just trying to get understand her, 90% of women will be okay with that. 10% might be like, no, that's not well, what I'm looking for. It, they're gonna, they it. might be okay with it, but some of your Prince Charming, some of you being Mr miraculous is going to wear off. It's going to take a Well, kick. hopefully it won't be, they won't be doing this for two years. It really should only be in the first few months. Unless it should be in the first few days. I'm being honest with you. You got days. 
But if that guy together. doesn't want to be committed to her, I think mo then that woman has the opportunity and she has a chance to say, okay, I know, and I'm still going to sleep with him and I'm still going to do this. They have the chance to, to, because to, some women will do that. They're okay with it because they may feel like once they put it on them. Just a little, Ooh, little bit. Listen, more. she's already, if she say, she's already done that. See, you ruined, that's what you're she doing. She might got you're, a few tricks up her Oh, she gonna go in the extra bag. <laughs> oh, my bad. She gonna go in the my, extra, extra, extra bag. The my extra, bad. extra bag. Okay, I didn't, I, No, right. but, but seriously, <laughs> yeah. if she, I, I, you may not, see, and this is the problem. See, men don't believe that that, that we will be okay with that, see? Perfect I example. I do not believe it. Ladies, ladies, please tell me. If you meet somebody and they are just straight up and they are honest with you from the beginning, you'll be like, okay, cool. We just dating. I know. Oh, yeah, I be stand. honest. Yes. Yes. But you say just a few days. Yeah, I'm but I, I I don't You see the man mentality? Thank I God we're married. I don't think. Okay. If someone's looking at you and says, I want to give you all to me, I want to give you the best of me. And your answer for that is, yeah, I'm kind of oh, looking no. at yeah, that. Well, that's not going to work. Because if she's saying that, it's already too late in the relationship. This should be established from the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Oh, early. If she is saying that, it's already, you, you, you're too far gone. Right. It needs to be in the beginning. Like we said, for us, we mm -hmm. knew we were going to get married at a month. So, you know, we had our, our conversations early. We had them early on where we talked about what we expect in a relationship, what we want, and right. what we desire. Yeah. And so we did all of that. True. And, you know, I'm going to save it for our next segment to talk about what we did when we got married and how we established our ground rules from the beginning. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... I yeah, them questions get into that. That is a story. Yeah. yeah you're right yeah. about that. So that's, that's a, a whole nother that's one. That's a whole story. Yeah. That is. No, actually, it's, let's do it. Let's do it, right? We, we feel oh. Good. We're, we're, let's just do it. <laughs> so when we got married, we decided that, um, well, we didn't decide it. We talked about this before we got married, and we talked about it afterwards as well, and it had to continue. We had some ground rules. One of them is... If you get, if you have an argument, because it's normal for people to argue, if you have an argument, you cannot sleep in another room. It's, there is no, I'm sleeping on the couch. You can't do that because that is where you still have a drift and you are not, what's the key word? Connected. connected. You have to remain connected because when you're in bed laying with your partner and that's the person that you love, your warm body, his warm body next to each other. You don't have to be being intimate, but just being with that partner, no matter what, there's like this aura, there's this energy going around and surrounding you and you are connected. So I strongly believe in that. And then, you know, sometimes when you sleep and you don't even realize what you're doing and you turn around and you cuddle and if it's cold or something like that. <laughs> See, they know what they're doing and they're trying to make nice, but it's not, you're not going to heal or, you know, trying to just, because you're trying to, you, what it is is you don't want this rift to continue to grow. Right. So you don't want it to go on any longer than necessary. So when you're sleeping in bed together, you know, one person might touch the other person, whatever, and then you guys can start making up and letting go talk. of that issue and yeah. talking it out. Talk. It, it, it makes the talk. I, I don't think they're. I think sometimes talk. we've been in arguments. I don't think they're going to talk though. Probably not. Sometimes we've been in arguments and we've been on bad terms and just staying in that bed, sleeping next to each other. When we wake up in the morning, the way we greet each other, the way we speak to each other, it's on less of a conflict uh nature <laughs> we're trying to it's like come on let's it's let's, him soaking let's, let's, good let's, morning let's, let's work this he's out. soaking he yeah. soaks let's, good morning let's work this out it's uh, not, hello it's how you not, doing that's not how he talks to me <laughs> Good he doesn't no. formally good morning no you we you you when you wake up in that morning you're like come on let's let's find a way around this let's 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 make this i don't want to do this all day you right, know what i mean right, right. and uh, i think when you stay connected is less um there's less energy to keep it going right right, right. okay and so that's one of the rules and right. the other one was um that if you do have an argument you cannot leave the house yeah there's no leaving there's the no house. leaving the house because we believe and i and if anybody wants to leave the house to get fresh air that's on you but we believe 
if you leave the house, you put yourself in situations that can be questionable and it yes. can be questioned later. Yes. And fellas, you know like I know, the moment you're in an argument with your girl and you decide you leave it and you go to the store, there goes Miss What's Her Name you haven't seen in 15 years and she been missing you. And she's like, oh, how you doing? What's wrong? You look upset. You want to talk? And you're ruined, okay? If you stayed in the house, you'll have that problem. Trust me. It's happened a million times, brothers, and that's how things go downhill. Stay at home. You do. And then there's some other things, too, because when you're upset and you go out, you leave the home, now you're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You're vulnerable to someone else because you're in your feelings. You might not be feeling loved. You know, your ego might be hurt. Yes. It might be affected. So now you go out there and someone sees you. This is for women, too. And they start flirting with you, giving you compliments, telling you how good you look. Then you're going to be like, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. And forget so-and-so. Right, right. Because right. this person is making you feel good. And then sometimes when you argue, let's be honest, when you argue, you think this is it. I'm done. Is I'm over. done. It's over. I'm never going to get back with him or her again. Forget them. I'm moving and on with my life. I'm going to do better. And then you think that you can do what you're doing because you're not with that other person anymore, you think. And then you do something that compromises your everything. whole everything. Yeah. So you do not leave, leave the, the home when you're arguing. That's no. just a rule. You stay in there. You stay, like Monique said, you stay miserable together. Yes. That's what she said about Kobe yeah. and Vanessa. She said, you don't leave that money. You stay in and keep him miserable. <laughs> you stay miserable together. Stay miserable together for the five minutes. I'm no. not saying to stay miserable in a relationship. Forever. I'm not saying that. No. But in that house when you fuming, because, you know, we argue when you're fuming and you mad and stuff like that, you just stay in that home in that moment. Right. And then I think after that, eventually, you, you, you know, you'll be able to work some things through. Right. And the other thing is, is everything you do outside of that house, now, in the person who's at home or who has left, it's all question marks. Well, wh where did you go? Well, who, who was you with? Well, why was you out that long? What's the name that says she saw you over by? It just adds, let the problem be the problem. Right. Okay. That's it. Don't make new ones. Okay. That's it. Whatever the problem is, let it be that. Do not leave the house and make new problems. That's what a lot of people do. I'm not doing that. All right. Be. All right. So sorry, we digressed. Woo! We had to talk about something different. Yeah. But I'll just answer my question. Is there anything you regret? I regret not having more children. That's easy for me to say. I wanted more kids. I really, really wanted more kids. Yeah. I did not carry well. And that's the problem. I didn't yeah. carry well with my three children. I did yeah, have well, complications. When Bubba was coming out, <laughs> when Bubba came out and... The doctor was like, oh, I saw the old oh, damn look on the doctor's face. And he was like, and they was, they were doing things that were quick, were no longer quick. And they were taking a long time. And then when they looked at me and said like, yeah, we need to get him out of here. I was like, oh, okay. They, it, my baby make it. And then blood transfusions. Oh, listen, I no, we're not. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, I got to keep my baby. And That's the it. doctor did tell me not, she didn't recommend that I have any more children. Right, But right. I think with technology and advances in medicine and surgery, I could have still tried to have another one and they and? would have made me right. Oh. No, I think they would have made me right. But it, it, it was my decision not to, con not to have any more right. um, because of that. But I've regretted that. Um, like I stopped at three and I always wanted to have more. I wanted to have a big family with lots of kids running around. So, um, you know, now I just, and I have one. Now daughter. we have one more who's real big, big guy. He's going to be six, six, six. And he's running around. So he's like two people. We're good. Nice. Stop it. We're good. Stop We're it. Good. Bubba's a tall dude. Bubba's going to be a big guy. 